Good evening. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We're spending each Tuesday night in December with our star of the month, Lana Turner. Tonight's lineup features some of her best films from the 1940s, the decade where she became an A-list star and a full-fledged sex symbol, largely due to the success of our next movie from MGM in 1946, The Postman Always Rings Twice. Turner burst onto the Hollywood scene nine years earlier, signing a contract with producer-director Mervyn Leroy and going with him to MGM when she was just 16. For the next several years, she played a variety of roles, dancing co-eds, a Ziegfeld Folly girl, you name it, but they were mostly the same type, a nice, beautiful girl. But with The Postman Always Rings Twice, Turner landed a role that challenged her as an actress in new ways, and when it hit theaters, it forever changed Turner's status in Hollywood. Turner plays a disenchanted young wife who plots her husband's murder with the help of a handsome young drifter captivated by her beauty. The drifter is John Garfield, and the unsuspecting husband is Cecil Kellaway. It's a setup not unlike another steamy film noir released two years earlier, Double Indemnity, and those similarities make sense. Both movies were based on novels by James M. Cain. Postman checks all the boxes on the film noir checklist. Passion, sex, murder, betrayal, a femme fatale, even a voiceover narration. But the movie succeeds primarily because of the chemistry between Turner and Garfield. Garfield gives a complex performance as a bad good guy, or maybe he's a good bad guy. It's hard to tell. And like a good noir, that's how it's supposed to be. Throughout the movie, Lana Turner demonstrates why she became Lana Turner, Hollywood star. She's alluring, sexy, mysterious, unpredictable. You cannot take your eyes off her. From director Tay Garnett in 1946, one of the year's biggest hits, The Postman Always Rings Twice. After seeing The Postman Always Rings Twice, James M. Cain, who wrote the novel, inscribed a leather-bound copy of the book for Lana Turner, thanking her for giving a performance even finer than he expected. The movie elevated Turner's status as the sex symbol of the 1940s, and she became one of the definitive femme fatales of the movies at the age of just 25. This was the first time she had ever played an out-and-out -out bad girl on screen, and her performance was so memorable, it influenced her screen image for the rest of her career. In truth, Turner played a vamp or a villain in movies just a few times, but she excelled in those roles, and that's largely how she is remembered today. Turner also inspired a new fashion trend with her role in Postman, women in shorts, short shorts. Up next, Turner gives one of those villainous performances in an adventure based on a classic piece of historical fiction. <laughs> 